Hello all. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So we are going to continue the same part of the sniper rifle. That's the next part of it. So let's continue with it. So now uh, the things which are left out will be continuing that. Like let's go into this and let's take one swift loop over here let's use one swift loop over here and here so wherever we require some swift loops we'll be assigning those swift loops let's go into this polygons extrude it by local normal and you can just scale it same thing so we require one swift loop over here also select this polygons extrude it click ok so after this is done over here let's select this and this so let's take one cylinder over here so just select this cylinder and just drag it out over here convert to editable poly and let's select this its edges over here select the edges and let's give a chamfer to it give a bit of chamfer to it that's it so let's go into this rotate it press shift and rotate it and make one and click ok so let's go into this view over here and push it over here scale it push it on the stop just drag it down So now what we'll be doing is like let's again go into this view over here select the polygons and just extrude it out click ok select its edges and let's give chamfer over here and click ok save your file so we need to create this uh, trigger part over here so let's again take one swift loop over here So select this polygon over here, extrude it down and definitely will be offing this, please off this stuff. Rotate it, extrude it. extrude it and so just scale this so you can go into this select this and scale it a bit inside save the file 
so let's go into this view again and select its polygons or else just take a box over here increase its height of the box over here increase its height more so convert to editable poly so what we'll be doing over here is like let's add one loop over here so let's just push this up use one swift loop over here that's it and select the polygons so guys if you have any doubts related to this you can write in the comment section so definitely will reach you so use a inset over here and use a bit of bevel or instead of bevel you can just go with the extrude option and click OK. So same thing we'll be doing over here is like we'll be taking again a box over here onto the top. So convert to editable poly, select the vertices and drag it. Select this and push it in this way. So select the edges over here and let's give a chamfer option. Click OK. That's it. Alright. So once you're done with this. So few things left over here that is take a cylinder and rotate this just push this up convert to editable poly go into polygons and just give extrude again give extrude by local normal just push this up or you can just scale this in this way select the polygons again extrude this down and finally again extrude this one over here select all these polygons and extrude it up so select the vertices and scale it in this way that's it so once you're done with this So let's go into this, take a box over here, convert to editable poly and push this box up 
push this over here. So definitely we'll be just scaling this stuff a bit more and pushing it to the center over here. So keep on saving your files over here. So select this all, exclude this and just give one color to it. So now what I can do over here is like you might find some bolts and all this stuff that can be adjusted over here. So for that let's take a cylinder over here. Let's go into this. and rotate it after that let's convert to editable poly right click let's use a cut option over here select press 4 just use inset just insert it a bit and just give a bit of bevel to it so what I'll do is I'll just extrude this and I'll scale it inside and I'll push it inside that's it so let's just put this over here so wherever it is required we can just put this so select this again drag it again copy it take one more copy push it down so you can just make multiple copies of it So just go on duplicating it so if you want to increase its size you can scale it not a problem so once you're done over here so I'll just give a small random material over here I'll just give a and I'll give a bit of a small shader on it that is a Blean shader and I'll just assign this over here on top of it so let's right click and just hide this selection so we can just select this stuff over here select this edges over here just give a bit of chamfer to it select this just give a chamfer to it that's it alright so this is your rifle is ready so how we are going to showcase it I'll just show you a simple let's create one cylinder over here so let's just give the same material on it
after that let's go into this take a circle go to the top view take a circle push this up now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll go into this time configuration and I'll increase this end time to 300 and let's click OK so press Ctrl C for camera press P save your file so I'll go into the camera I'll off this target Oops, I think. No problem. We'll just reopen the file. I already have saved that file. So we have already saved that file. So I'll just select the target. I'll push it over here. Select the camera, animation, constraint, and path constraint. So once you click on the path and press C, that's for the camera. And you can see, you can just play it. So as you can see, you can see the we can say that's a turntable over here to showcase any kind of objects over here that's it so let's press P again get back over here and you can see the final output of this particular sniper rifle So please like and subscribe my channel and if you have any doubts please write it in the comment box. So thanks for watching this tutorial.